Hi, this is Gene Bosler. I'm in Houston Question, uh, Houston, Texas, and the question of the day is, why is it snowing in my backyard? Namely, why is it snowing just underneath my green ash tree? It has never done this before. Why is white sticky film gathering on the surface of my pool? And why is this stickiness all over the surface? The camera isn't really picking up the glistening. of the, you guessed it, honeydew. But it's not just any honeydew, it's, it's clumps of, of white woolly mass. Look here, look all, look all over here. Yeah, see, it's even on my arm. All over here on the, on the stonework. It's extremely sticky. My forehead is sticky. Anything I touch is sticky. This is sick. It's killer, right? It's coming down. It's coming. It's gathering on the on this spider web. It's on all of the understory plants. Look at this mag uh, gardenia. See it raining down. It's coming down in clumps. So. What the heck is going on, right? If I stand here, I can actually see in the sunlight stuff raining down from this tree. It's unbelievable. All right, so let's take a look. Cut this branch. I looked up and I thought I saw anthracnose symptoms. Look at this. This is incredible. I feel it and see it raining down all around me. All right, I'm going to I'm going to hold back the answer. Have a little fun with it. Um There are crawler stage nymphs and winged adults. There are also um, ladybug, ladybug larvae. Let me see if I can find one for you. They're all over the place. I, I ought to be able to find one because I actually went back to the car, dropped the sample. I don't know what. There are also what I believe to be, are these, are these leaf beetles? I don't know leaf beetles that well. Is that what this is? No. It's a cast skin of some sort. Okay. I know, I know there are ladybug larvae on this specimen. I found them all over the place earlier. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty sick. It's pretty heavy. And uh, she wants to take... There's a ladybug pupil casing. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for y'all. And um, actually, I gotta be careful because there's some of these sucking insect nymphs that, that look just like ladybug larvae. Look at that. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? I'm challenging the camera's autofocus capability. Probably taxed it beyond what it can handle. These actually look more like 
lace bugs um, I guess guess I, I, I'm assuming this is woolly aphids I sure wish I could find that a, a, a ladybug larva to show you this is pretty crazy everything is sticky everything I touch I set down my pole clip for a few minutes and the handle was sticky my fingers are sticky I feel a stickiness when I walk this is this is heavy now I've heard this oops, sorry I've heard this thrown out there and it sounds plausible to me um, 2012 was a really bad drought and heat year uh, sometimes uh, predaceous and parasitic uh, insects will suffer a dent in their populations because of the drought and so let's just say hypothetically speaking that I don't know something like a paras parasitic wasp or some other type of predaceous or parasitic organism ordinarily keeps the, the woolly aphid or whatever this is there's white flies buzzing about although I don't see any pupil casings population in check under ordinary circumstances but when there's in, when there's population pressure then they go to this ash which may not be its primary host plant might be a secondary host plant so they, they come to it I don't know but um, this is pretty heavy. I welcome your comments. Check this out. Oh, there it is. I found it. Ladybug larva coming up right here. Look at this beautiful ladybug larva. Hi, buddy. Don't mess with him. He will bite. He's got those long legs that Dr. Mike Ropp at University of Maryland says is a telltale sign that it's a predator. So the mealy bug or whatever it is that, that looks just like him. Has shorter stubbier legs. Come on focus. Focus. Won't do it. All right, so that's him. Um, check these out. These are also eggs. I'm not sure what kind of eggs. See these? It's egg mass. Tons of leaf distortion. Serious major leaf distortion. You look up in the air and it looks like a tree with anthracnose, but I don't think this tree is infected with anthracnose. Maybe it is. There are also uh, lacewing eggs, the ones that you little pinheads on the end of a stalk. And uh, it's quite a science project. I welcome your comments. Uh, GeneBosler.com, WideWorldOfTrees.com.